Every last one of us to face a Goliath today. A Goliath of mammoth proportion. Just like the army of Israel, you stand on the battlefield of your life hopeless as giant circumstances taunt you and threaten to kill you. You tremble in fear. You turn your eyes heavenward and you call out to God, deliver me from this giant. Do you need a victory? Yes. I said, do you need a victory? Yes. Then be like David. Yes. You got to be like David. Yes. David received the spirit of a champion the moment that he realized that God is greater. Yes. He was a mighty warrior the moment that he confessed that God is greater. Yes. That giant Goliath tumbled to the ground the very second God delivered a stone to his head. God is greater. Said after me, said, God is greater. What about the lost job? What about the marriage on the rocks? What about illness try to attack your body? What about the young boy and the young girl that you thought would be lost forever? Yes, God is greater. Said again, God is greater. Amen. Amen. How can you? Tend to your father's sheep when you can't overcome the giant in your own life. Well, Do you want to be a champion like David? Yes. Do you want to possess the spirit of a champion? Yes. Then I want you to listen to me. Now you listen to me. Stop crawling around on your belly. Get up on your feet. Dust yourself off. Stick your chest out. Hold your head up high. Nothing can defeat you. I said, nothing can defeat you. Nothing can bring you down. Nothing can take from you what belongs to God. For greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. Say it after me. Greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. Everybody say, amen. 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 And he told them this parable, saying, yes, What man among you, if he has a hundred sheep and has lost one of them, does not leave the ninety-nine in the pasture and go after the one which is lost until he finds it? And when he has found it, he lays it on his shoulders rejoicing. And when he comes home, he calls together his friends and neighbors, saying unto them, Rejoice with me, for I have found my sheep which was lost. Let us pray. Dear God, help us to find the lost sheep, those who walk around unnoticed every day. Give us the strength to defeat our own giants. In the name of Jesus, we pray. As he would have us pray, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come. Let thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, and we forget our debtors. Lead us not into no temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, the glory, Forever and ever. Amen.
remember me? Bobby. Bobby Fizz. Man, last time I heard, you were going the first round in the draft. Broke every Russian record at Oregon. Then, fam, you were gone, man. What, what happened? Yeah. Had a baby. Got married. You know, had a few problems. You know how it goes. Now I'm a high school football coach. Head coach? No. Assistant. Family? Yeah, that's my little nephew, Tyrone. No, no, Bobby, I'm sorry, brother. So listen, uh, you remember my older sister, Tina? Yeah, took out a few times. Yeah, I, I remember, <laughs> I remember. Anyway, she stayed in Tennessee uh, while we moved back to Portland. She's all messed up, man. What about the daddy? Who knows? I'm moving the boys back to Portland. Stay with the grandmother. How's your mother doing? I just got to get him out of all this. They seem like good kids. Yeah, they are. Taylor's quite a quarterback. All city, all state as a junior. What about him? Tyler? Uh, Tyler's just like his mama, all messed up. I mean, trouble finds that boy everywhere he goes. Look, Bobby, if I could ever do anything to him, you let me know, OK? Let me borrow some money from a big contract you just signed. Hey, you get it from Sarah, you can have it. All right. <laughs> uh, well, listen, man. We're looking for a new head uh, football coach. And if you don't mind teaching history. No, I don't think I'm going to do that, Bobby. No, why don't you uh, win yourself a Super Bowl for the neighborhood, man? You can do that for us. OK. All right? Good don't forget you. about us. I won't. I'm serious. Don't forget I about us. I will not. All right. Bobby. Hey. Yes, Portland, Oregon. You ever listen for a Bobby Fess, F-E-S-S? -S? What about a Robert? Perfect. <laughs> Coaches, fellow players, members of the press, and most importantly, my fans. Today, 
I'm announcing my retirement as a professional football player. I will be forever grateful to the organization and to the National Football League, to Packer fans and Reggie Knox fans all across the country. I thank you for your trust, your faith, and the opportunity to be your hero. Thank you. Reggie, you're going to take any questions. One at a time, Reggie, please. Reggie, Angela. Reggie, this is quite a shock to all of us. Why now? Is it an injury? Is it your contract? No, Angela, everything's fine. I could play for five more years, God willing. If you know me, you know how bad I want a championship, how bad I want to win. Reggie, 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 Reggie. Phil. If a championship is so important to you, why quit now? But Phil, today, I'm pleased to announce that I just accepted a head football coaching job. Reggie, 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 Reggie. Reggie, have you been offered the head coaching job with Philadelphia? <laughs> no, no, nothing like that. I'm going west. Oakland? Portland, Oregon. A Canadian franchise. I'm going to become the head football coach and history teacher at Portland Central High School. Reggie, Reggie, you could sign an $8 million extension. You could go to the broadcast booth. You could have anything you want right now. High school? Angela, all across this country, teenagers are losing their families, their hope, their sense of direction. It's not just South Central LA or New York. It's places like Dayton and Denver, Birmingham and Bakersfield. Everywhere you look, our children seem to be lost, begging for something, someone who would care enough to reach out a hand and lead. If I can find just one, if I can make a difference in the life of just one kid, then championing will catch on like wildfire. And friends, there's no Super Bowl greater than that. Guiding the children, it ought to be your prayer. I guarantee you, it's Reggie's prayer. Thank you. What a day. Yeah. Regrets? No. I don't mean anything anyway. What about you? I don't know. I just, I'm not sure. I just, I think I'm scared. Sarah, you got to realize that we. Reggie, Reggie, you got a heart of gold. And that's why I love you. But you can't save the world. But if I can just change one, doesn't that mean something? Sure, it's worth something. But Sa I... Sarah, would you go with me? Would you stand by me? I'll march to hell and back for you, Reggie Knox. I love you, because you're my man. Hall of Fame or Beggar's Row, prosperity to obscurity, you're the only one for me, and nothing can separate us. Well, I guess your mission, then, is to bring us some state titles. I could care less. I'm here for the kids. I want to have an impact. I want to make a difference. I want to transform every self-defeated kid I find into a champion. Period. Ah, lofty ambitions. I like that. <laughs> Nothing more than idealistic castles in the air, but you're naive. Then again, so was I once. You're going to need some protection, Mr. Knox. Oh, really? And just who is going to protect me? Me. Impatience, self-doubt, unfulfilled dreams, they can tear down castles very quickly. Mr. Osaki, who are we afraid of? You. <laughs> Coaches Parker and Fess here started football practice last week. You'll meet all the boys uh, tonight. Now, you're going to have to uh, cut and select your squad by Monday night. Oh, your homeroom is East 210. I will look in on you a little bit later, OK? Thank you very much. By the way, Mr. Osaki, how does one prevent the tearing down of castles in the air? Well, I would suggest um, building a solid foundation first. 
stone by stone. Hey, hey, hey. You new, ain't you? What do you want? You looking for work? Nah. This here is Mr. Patola's neighborhood. He's always looking for a few good men. What do you say? I'm late. Yeah, I see you around. you to join us, Mr. Lincoln. All right, who likes history? No one? Anyone want to cut this class, just blow it off? Right here, man. Oh, runners. Everyone wants to bolt for the door. I like that. I like a good offense, a challenge. I like to attack a good offense, face to face, move for move, muscle for muscle. First, I take away the run, then I take away the pass. But you know, I'm feeling rather generous this semester. Oh, I'm going to take away the run, but you get to keep the pass. Miss Albertson? What? Find your name and fill it in. Fill what in? It's a grade book, is it not? So? So, write in your final grade. My final grade? This isn't brain surgery, is it? Man, what's the catch? The end of the pass, get it? <laughs> I mean, what's it all about? Don't ever miss my class. Do not run. Not from history, not from school, not from me, and not from this class. Show up, and you'll get the grade if you want it. If you do your part, I guarantee I'll do mine. What if I miss a day? Your grade drops one letter. Even if I'm sick? Yep, so don't get sick. That's it? No tests, no papers? Oh, no, there will be tests, there will be papers, and there will be reading assignments. If you come every day, you'll get your grade. Miss Albers, that's a pencil. Wouldn't you rather use some ink? You know, some of you probably don't feel worthy of an A. Some of you maybe never had an A. Some of you maybe never had anybody in your family that's ever had an A. But today, an A is yours. It's yours to have, and it's also yours to lose. I'm your teacher. I am 100% responsible for you mastering this class. If you show up, I'll do just that. Master history, and you master your future. Check under the hood. Check out the prisons. Look at who's on probation. They all flunked history. They flunked this class. But not Tyler Lincoln. He knew his history. He got an A. He knows where he's been. Now he knows where he's going. In that right time. Read the first 25 pages for tomorrow. There'll be a 10 question quiz. I guarantee you. Mr. Larkin, told you about wearing those dirty shirts to school. <laughs> well, Mr. Knox. You know, I think I'm really gonna like this. You know, Tyler Lincoln's in my class. He seems like a good kid. Yeah, they're all good kids. Until they let go. Until they stop trying. Come on, I'll show you to your office. 
So, is the family settled in yet? Moving van showed up last night. <laughs> I'll take a second job if I have to. We're family, Mama. We can make it. We'll talk about it later tonight, okay? Vet and I'll stop by on our way home from the hospital. Gotta go. Talk to you later. Bye. Coach! Bobby, what in the world is this? Playbook. Conference champs, 13 out of the last 16 years. State champs, six years in a row. Uh, Coach Carney's coached here 17 years, Ridge. Some big shoes to fill. That's his playbook. Why'd he quit? Oh, yeah, well, him and the coach from Washington High got into a fist fight during the championship game. What? It's been a bitter rivalry. Carney had his boys throw a chop block on their all-state defensive tackle. Tore the kids' ACL. And I guess the coaches decided to settle the score in midfield. You guys don't buy any of this stuff, do you? Would you be here if we did? I gotta go. I gotta teach a girls' PE class. Practice starts at 3.30. Don't be late. Coach. <laughs> You're dragging. Let's get a move on it. Couldn't cut it in the NFL anymore. Yo, you got electricity in Green Bay? Hey, man, we got more championships than you got sacks. Go home, Tennessee boy. Let's move it. You got all day. Move it up! All right, all right. All right, coach. You up for it? Conference champions. Yeah. State champions. Yeah. You guys have won them all. Yeah. For what? A ring? Has any one of you become a champion yet? Coach Fence. Coach. The plaque on my wall. Could you bring it to me, please? Thank you. Sir. Who believes this? Yes. Too bad. You've been misled. Somebody took you down the wrong path. Somebody sold you a high with no regard for the consequences of thinking so low. Somebody made you believe, Chucky, that the ring was the thing. 
You want to be on my football team? And you got to follow a different path. You got to follow me up to the high ground. Now, the, the path is narrow on the high ground. You can't just blow through life full speed on the high ground. You got to breathe slowly. You got to think things out. You got to take life one step at a time on the high ground. Sometimes you got to forget about what you want and start thinking about what somebody else needs if you want to walk on the high ground. Anyone taking an art class this time? What's your name, son? Rex. Rex Jackson. But my friends call me Big Daddy. Yeah. All right, Big Daddy, I need you to do me a favor. I want you to put on the front of this shirt. The ring ain't the thing. And put on the back. We're going to the high ground. Can you do that for me? Yeah, I got you. By the way, Mr. Jackson is going to be posting names on my door. Names of the players who's going to make this football team. Who's going to get cut? Depends. Depends. Depends on who buys a $10 T-shirt from Mr. Jackson between now and Monday. Tomorrow is Friday. Practice starts the same time. You can have the weekend off. Next Friday is our first game. Let's be ready. Do we have a quarterback yet, Coach? Finley, Mallory, and uh, Lincoln. Dismissed, gentlemen. cannot bear these burdens alone. In my despair, he surely will help me. Jesus will help me. Jesus alone. I For your grandma? Yeah. I mean, yes, sir. Ah, yes, sir. I like that. Southern etiquette. You know, you could be a very strong influence around here, Tyler. I hope so, sir. I was reading up on your files this afternoon. That is, you and your brother, Taylor. I just want you to know that I was very saddened to learn about your little brother, Tyrone. I'm sure he must have looked up to both of you. Yes, sir. Well, you have a great weekend, OK? Thanks, Mr. Osaki. Big mistake. Just take the stuff and leave me alone. I don't need this. Just let me out, okay? I mean, please, come on, just let me out. $200 a day. 
That's the quota. It's 10 packages a day. You know, I got nine packages here. I guess you owe me $20. I dropped it. I'll, I'll pay you back your money. I mean, look, just let me out, okay? Oh, I'm so sorry. But unfortunately, I'm not accepting resignations this year. Oh, man. Protects his territory. Good luck. Fun. Tomorrow we're gonna take a look at Solomon Northrop, a free black who was captured into slavery and later escaped. He writes in 1841 that blacks were intentionally deprived of hope. We'll see if any of that holds true today, and if so, what we can do about it. See you guys tomorrow. Oh, pages 25 through 75. Damn. See you guys tomorrow. Y'all have fun reading it. I know y'all love history. All right, you can read it to Yeah, time. come on. All right. <laughs> have you seen Tyler Lincoln? No. You always ride to school in the van, son. I don't know what you're talking about. You in the game? No. You doing drugs? No. You're lying to me. Look, here's the deal. You find Rex Jackson. You get this to him. What? He'll know what to do with it. I don't get it, coach. Just do it. So what you gonna do with that? Look, son, you got 30 minutes to get where you need to go. I suggest you get going. But, Coach, move it! What's the problem? Never been constipated before? It ain't fun. Way. Fast, you gotta see this, man. Check that out. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I don't believe this. It's impossible. Reggie, check this out. Look at the last name on the list. Lincoln. Mm hmm. Tell him Lincoln. It's a miracle. It's nothing short but a miracle. Yep. Nothing less than a miracle. No, 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 no. When the ball is snapped, you attack the line like a wild man. What's your name, son? Uh, Wool. Brian Wool. Wool like his sheep wool? Yes, sir. I guess every team gotta have his white sheep there. <laughs> wool, sheep. Oh, never mind. When you come out of the line, you gotta explode through the man. You gotta explode through him. Line like this. Everybody line up. Line up. Line up. Come, come. Oh, that's right. Y'all go. Hey, coach. Get a load of this. Whoa. You were not here last week, were you, son? No, sir. Who are you down here today? I owe Rex $20, but we made a special deal. What's your name? Willie. But my friends call me Haystack. 
You ever played the offensive line, hey, Stay? That's right. Let's see what you got. Oh, sorry, man. <laughs> yeah. 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 Reach down. Reach down inside and find that champion that's been sleeping within you for hundreds of years. Wake him up. Wake her up. Stop pointing your little pathetic fingers and start taking the responsibility for the next chapter in history. Take on a new challenge. Let's go into the next century. Use your God-given ability and your God-given talent to take us on into the next century. Stand with me. Stand with me. Stand with me, bro. Stand with me, little sister. Stand with me. Stand with me. Wait, don't you hear that? They're probably killing them. I figured it out. Stone number two is heritage. Everybody needs heritage. Yeah. You can't know where you are if you don't know where you've been. That's right. Heritage. Heritage. Yeah. Hey, T. T. What? Good practice, huh? Yeah, I guess. Listen, I think it's pretty cool that you're on the team and all. I mean, it's kind of like when we were little, you know? Yeah, when we were little. Except for the old man isn't beating me, Tyrone isn't crying, and mom's not on drugs. It's like the good old days. You know what I mean? Are you doing all right, T? I mean, what do you want from me? Just leave me alone, man. Eh? I was just trying to be your brother. Well, back off! <sighs> I'm sorry, man. I was thinking, Uncle Bobby was the bomb back in the day, huh? What? Uncle Bobby. 236 yards rushing against UCLA. Get out of here. Check it out. Five touchdowns against Cal, and they still lost. <laughs> That's crazy. Our first game's coming up. You ready? <laughs> I ain't gonna get to play. Maybe not. But we'll be out there together, you know? Yeah. Together. Coach says you might be third string quarterback. Finley's got the flu, so who knows? Who knows? Is Uncle Bob really that good in college? Nobody ran the quarterback option better. It starts with the eyes, then the head fake. First, you take the snap and pull out. Find the linebacker. Stare at him as he's running from east to west. Let him see the ball. Snap your head towards the eye back and fake the pitch. Hide the ball in your hip, but don't lose eye contact. You see, the linebacker shifts his weight to the outside. He's thinking he can intercept the pitch. All of a sudden, you see it. A hole as big as the Grand Canyon. But you've only got a fraction of a second. So you run. <laughs> your lungs on fire, and the feet flying. You run like the wind. You gonna run with Coach tomorrow? I, mean, I don't know. I mean, he said it was optional. Optional means be there. I got homework. I got other things to do. Whatever.
I'm just dreaming. <laughs> Commit. Commit. No one wants to commit. Commit. Commitment. 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 Gentlemen, you found your stone. Commitment. Commitment. Forming in line. Let's go. Guys are ready to take the field. Well, sit down with me. <laughs> All right, I know you're nervous. <laughs> no, more like an expected father. Hmm. Kind of remind me of the days of UT. Yeah, except you don't have to go out and face Bear Bryant. I mean, you know, Grand High is tough, but they ain't the tide, man. <laughs> yeah. Bobby, I want to thank you for bringing me here, man. But I got to ask you something. Shoot. Why didn't you take the job? Why me? 
I guess I'm just afraid of failure, man. I mean, you know me. Ever since I was a little kid, everything I tried just didn't turn out the way I planned it. You've always been my hero. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you know, the older kid in the neighborhood. Just everybody looked up to you. I think God put us together so you could maybe show me how to be a champion too, like you did these kids. Bobby. I'm serious. A champion is never afraid of failure. Come on, we got a game. Hey, 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 hey. You're the new coach. Told you. Told you. First game? 20 minutes of kickoff. 20 minutes? Yep. Been here 17 years. Bert's been here three. Hmm. Well, OK, I, I guess I got to get going. We got a game. Tried to talk with Coach Carney every year. But no, he didn't have any time. Nope. My son and I invented a football play a few years ago. Here, take a look. 1979? <laughs> yeah, Coach Carney was a busy fella. Busy, busy, busy guy. I call it the left coast special. Looks like the quarterback option. Yeah, well, that's the other name. Play can have. Two names, you know. Well, you never know. Take care. All right, hey, good luck to you. Hey, Bert, you got a pretty good arm, don't you? I could have played. <laughs> yeah, right. Hey, finish the sweeping. I got to go change the urinal mints. of a champion is not what he keeps, but it's what he gives away to others. Tonight, the game ball goes to Taylor Lincoln. Last year, he was all city in Knoxville, Tennessee. This year, he's all champion in Portland, Oregon. Uh, thanks. I ain't much for speeches, but, uh, in the spirit of the champion, I want to give this game ball to someone who means more to me than I. Well, he's all I got left in this world. I haven't exactly been a great friend to him. I don't even know how to talk to him anymore. But I love him. Uh, Coach, if it's all right with you, I'd like to give tonight's game ball to my little brother, Tyler. Dr. Richardson. This is Dr. Walker. Ma'am, we've got a very serious... Is he gonna live? I can't... I can't say for sure. He's a tough kid. We've done everything we can do for him. He suffered a very severe spinal cord injury. Oh. Well, coma's not uncommon for an injury of this magnitude. Since he can't breathe on his own, we'll have to perform surgery to repair the nerves that control the lungs. We've got to get the bullet out. Oh, will, he, will he walk again? I don't know. Oh. 
How's the kid doing? Not good. Not good at all. Anyone see who shot him? It was an accident. The gun went off accidentally. It's more than an accident when a gun goes off in a high school locker room, coach. It's a felony, maybe even murder. Do you know who did it? Tyler. Tyler Lincoln. His brother? Look, I don't know why Tyler had a gun in his book bag, but he did. Did anyone tell the grandmother? No. What, what time is it? It's almost seven. Taylor <clears throat> just got out of surgery. And? Well, he's breathing on his own, but he's still in a coma. They're taking him to ICU right now. This much attention. I just sit out a press release. Take care of that kid. You know what I mean. Let's go. Look, I got an idea. All right. What? When do we leave? No, Bobby. You stay here with your mama. What? Bobby, your mom needs you. Taylor needs you. Besides, Mr. Osaka promised he would protect me. I just might take the little guy up on it. Where is he? He's downstairs in the car waiting on me. Bobby, I gotta go. All right, man. Just trust me, man. I'll find him. I promise. Right here. Pick point three. Thursday. Eight o'clock. Make sure it's dark. Completely dark. What about the kid? Self-inflicted gunshot wound. He runs in the family. <laughs> <laughs> Get up. 
sorry. Penalty is death. <laughs> and by the way, you dropped the bucket. <laughs> Take care of the kid. Well, there, Mr. Knox. How are we doing today? <laughs> Doesn't look like you're having a very good day, does it? <laughs> Tyler. He was in the van. Mr. Knox, let the police handle it from here. Mr. Knox! QQD 242. It's him! It's him! 
Let's go. Where we going? I'm a good guy. We're going to the mountains. I'm just a forest ranger, man. I need your help. Hey, get on the boat. I need your help. I'm just a ranger. Get on the boat. Get up. Get on the boat and take us. Let's go. Thursday night. Everything must go. The prices are uh, going to be slashed to the bone. <laughs> We're lucky. Really lucky. Your friend will show up too. Then I can have a two for one sale. <laughs> I got a chopper to catch in three hours.
you'd learn the first time. This time, I'm playing for keeps. <laughs> How's that feel? you got it's fourth and one five seconds left in the fourth quarter you score you win but there's one problem I run to my side Didn't draw us the kids? What kind of man are you? You're a coward. today announced the suspension of Reggie Knox. Knox, the almost certain Hall of Famer from the Green Bay Packers, has been missing for six days. Authorities won't say whether or not he's involved in the shooting of Central High School student Taylor Lincoln. Coach, I guess I need to go back huh? and face everything. All right. Everything's gonna be all right. Nah, everything isn't gonna be all right. I mean, I almost got both of us killed out here. I'm 16 years old, and I've already screwed up my whole entire life. I don't know. It's too late for me, coach. I mean, I keep having this dream. Like I'm gonna... And maybe I'm better off like Tyrone. Do you really believe that? I don't know what I believe. David faced the giant too, Tyler. And he stopped by a stream one day, picked up five little stones. Five little stones. Gave God something to work with. Concentrate on the five little stones. Gotta do the rest. Coach. What? You just threw away my five little stones. Here you go, champ. Now let's go get your job. Well, babe, he's all yours now. All right, I got him. I'm a hero. I'm the man. I got my man, and I'm the man. I told you I'm a ranger. Didn't I tell you I was a ranger? I'm a ranger. Come on, let's go. What's the matter? You got nothing to say? <laughs> you need rangers. You know, you need a ranger. Nothing like a ranger. Still push me, don't you? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> I'm a hero now. I'm the man. I'm the man. Hey, I'm the man. Yes, yes, yes. Lincoln has been wheelchair bound since the September shooting, but doctors are optimistic that he may even walk again someday. Not even a giant, coach. Not even a giant can keep a champion down. That's right. Kid, my brother's all right. Kid. 
Dude. Dude. No. It's only Thursday afternoon. Yep, and Portland's only 300 miles away. A person could uh, drive a few miles tonight. Yeah, I expect so. Long enough to find a hotel and a all you can eat steak buffet. After a good night's sleep, I suppose a person could make it back to Portland by uh, game time. Of course, there'll be a lot of explaining to do. A kid could be ready in theory. You know, to play in that game to honor his brother. Expect the coach. We'll have to set up some type of impromptu administrative hearing or something. Let's go. Are you ready for this? No. Do you want to call it off? Take my legs. Take my football dreams. Just give me my brother back. Well, there's too much to explain, Mr. Knox. Too much has happened. I told you that I came here to build champions. I told you I wanted to build castles in the air. But it was you, you, Mr. Osaki, who told me to take five little stones and build a foundation first. Discipline, heritage, courage, dedication. So I ask you, I beg each one of you, show us your honor. Please, please do not tear the castle down now. Two to two. I guess it's up to me. Uh, all right. He can suit up and stand on the sidelines, but I prefer you not play. And as for you, Coach Knox, you are no longer coach of this football team. You are suspended, sir. I'm sorry, but... Uh, I don't have any power to change that. We're going to kick your butt. Well, I guess we'll see them while we touch. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Central High School. Our pregame ceremony for this evening is nothing short of a miracle. Three weeks ago, something terrible happened at this high school.
Jackson, last time out, coach. Yeah, coach. I want you to run the option to the left. Pitch to Finley. Let the linebacker take you down. I don't think I can, coach. Just use a delayed second hut. Go. Go get him, Chad. Go. All right, let's go. Catch the girls. Hey, you take care of yourself. You know you gotta work hard at this. The strength will come back. All right? Thanks, coach. All right. All right. Hey, here, I got something for you. Thanks, Coach. Thanks for everything, man. I love you. I love you. Hey, you're a real champion, Tom Lake. Real champion. Portland Central High School. <laughs> Reggie, I just, I don't feel like I deserve it, man. And no one in the world deserves it more. Good things are gonna happen for you, Bobby Fess. I do believe good things are gonna happen. Mm. Take 
Thank you, Mr. Vanish. Mr. Osaki, I'm sorry. You're sorry? For what? I failed you. Weren't your prayers all about making a difference? Weren't you the one looking for lost sheep? I was. Well, I think your prayers have been answered. I think you've found your Summer, huh? What do you mean? Well, first, you quit football, then you got thrown out of school. Yeah, I guess so. So where are we going now? Back to Green Bay, son. Got some unfinished business to attend to. Gotta beat the Cowboys. Stand by and... Man, thank, thank God. God. Sing row, row, row your boat. No, we're not. Roll, 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 roll your, your boat gently down, down the stream. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. Parker. Close the door. 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 And action. <laughs> a play can have two names, you know. Back, step back, keep doing it, and further up. <laughs> action. And, and stand by. And action. A play can have two names, you know. And step back one more time. An even bigger, big old list thing in there going on. And action. A play can have two names, you know. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Big smiles. Hey. Cut. What? <laughs> Coaches, fellow players, members of the press, most important. Ready? Roll, roll, roll your boat gently down the street. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. Where you come from, big fella? Busy, busy, busy guy. And again, and uh, just uh, deliver the lines to the toilet paper. Oh, okay. So and now, don't look at you. Yeah, that's fine. And action. <laughs> Go for it now. Action. Busy, busy, busy guy. Hit it. Roll, oh, roll, roll your boat gently down the street. Merrily, 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 merrily. Life is but a dream. That's That's right. Okay. Roll, roll, roll your boat 
gently down the street. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. How was that, Paul? Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. I was who was lost. But now I'm found, was blind, but now I see. What you say, say what you mean.